Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really excited about today's video. Um, I'm, we're going to be playing around with some Natasha Denona. Um, as you can tell by the title, she just released a new mini palette and three, her new product, her new highlighter product, which is the Super Glow. I have two of those. I'm going to be trying them out on my skin. I've secretly been wearing one of the Super Glows a little bit here and there in videos, so... I have been wearing it, and just out when I'm not filming as well, I've been wearing it. Um, Natasha Denona is a really, really high-end brand. If you're just sitting here like, who the, heck is, who the heck is Natasha Denona? She's the, her name, her makeup company is the one with the eyeshadow palette that's $239, honey. That's who she is, and then she also have her five pans, which I have... Four of those. Those are $49 each. She has her, you'll see um, my uh, Big Lila palette. Those are $129. And I also have the Tropic palette. I am one of the ones still waiting for Sunset to come back in stock. I am stalking that palette. Like, literally, I've been stalking that palette for months. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to play some of the Touch of Denona products. And Touch of Denona is one of those brands where I do not mind spending the money. Um... Because I know I'm going to get great quality products. Like, no doubt about it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I know the product is going to be great. So I do not mind spending the money. So if you want to see an uh, eye look, we're going to play with some highlighters. As you can see, my face is all done and all matte. I play through the viewfinder. I look glowy, but it's hot, child. Um, So if you want to see what's going on, then just keep on watching. first thing first as I was stating earlier this is one of her five pan um palettes um these are $49 this is in number four I recently got this off of Beautylish because it was sold out on Sephora this is one of the most popular ones but these are $49 and then I have the Lila palette and this size is $129 this is the same size as the Sunset palette and I also have the Tropic palette um, I talked about this palette in a favorites earlier this year, and I absolutely love this palette. If you are into purples, coppers, like warm with like pops of color, this is the perfect palette for you. It's The formula is impeccable and it's worth every cent. So this is the Big Lila, and today we're going to be trying out the Mini Lila palette. Now... This is Natasha Denona's second, I'm sorry, it's so hot here. This is Natasha Denona's second mini palette. She also has a mini sunset palette. And I never thought to get it because it's truly a mini. Like, this is the palm of my hand. It fits straight down the palm of my hand, and it's $25, which I feel is really overpriced for this. But you are getting still great quality shadows. Um, this is... Made in Italy. It's not made in China because some of these little palettes not even some of them almost all of them are made in China This is made in Italy and you do get uh, I threw the box out and this doesn't say How much product you get? But I still wanted it and this is like an extension of the big Lila, but these are all new shades So if you when I saw her swatch these literally I gagged through the phone like I was like I need to get that So I'm we're gonna be testing this out and I also have two of the three super glows So I have zero two light medium and zero three bronze and the, she also has zero one fair which wouldn't work for me but i will be testing these out too i when i first purchased them i couldn't really find any videos on deeper skin tone um deeper skin tones but i did watch um puffin's wife her video on it and i watched someone else and it really still intrigued me to buy it so i got that as well so as per usual, i'm gonna go ahead and take my fancy um pro filter amplifying eye primer and i'm gonna prime my lids with this I've been like, I know I've been saying this like every video, but I've been legit loving that. So, I feel a little bit better now that this hair is up. A little bit better, but it's hot. My eye, this eye is a little swollen still from um me ripping off my false lashes like a mad woman. 
so please I hope on camera you really can't see it but I woke up to a nice fat eye okay we're gonna dip into flint and flint is like a really cool toned taupey brown um, I plan on using the deeper shades in this palette, so I need something that'll help everything just blend. So now I'm going to take a nice big fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into this shade right here which is called Poi why am I holding it like that? This is called Poison Berry and it's a really vivid violet. If you are still watching and you're just like I don't know if I'm going to get it, just go to Natasha Dono's Instagram and watch those swatches that she did because she swatched this palette and literally my debit card was like out. My bag was across the room, but my debit card just magically ended up in my hand. And this palette is a Sephora exclusive, so. Sephora online exclusive, I believe. I don't, I, well, I don't know if it's going to come up in stores. So I'm just blending Poison Berry. Now, this shade reminds me of Poison Plum by Sugar Pill, which is my favorite purple eyeshadow hands down. So I'm glad I laid flint underneath this because it's blending beautifully. Now with this shade, I do see some areas where it looks a little like in here looks lighter than out here. Um, but other than that, the shadow blend it really, really nicely. Now I'm going to take a more tapered, fluffier brush and I'm going to go into the shade Raisin, which is right here. And compared to Poison Plum, Raisin is more of like a deeper aubergine type shade, but still has that beautiful purple undertone. That's raisin. And I'm going to apply this directly under poison berry. I almost called it poison plum. And place it directly into my crease. It's not really showing up on top of the poison berry, so that's not going to work. As you can see, it's nothing there. I think because the poison berry is pretty much overpowering the eye right now it's not really showing but that's okay so I'm just gonna go in with the shade blue Dahlia which is right here oh my when she swatched that shade I I gagged so and but she applied it with her finger I'm gonna see how it applies with the brush not good. So I'm just going to use my brush to kind of get my outline going with this shade. And then I'll just go ahead and use my finger. Look at that. It's like a blue purple duochrome. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it applies way better with the finger. And so far, I'm not getting any fallout on my face, like, at all.
So I'm gonna go ahead and get some extra blend work in. I'm just gonna go back in. I'm not gonna add any more flint to my brush, but take that same brush. Take the same brush I use flint with and blend out the edges a little bit up here. My eye don't mind my eyebrows. They are a hot ass mess today. But I I, I didn't have the patience. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of flint on the lower lash line. Which didn't do anything. So I'm going to go into my big Leela and see what I can use in my lower lash line. Ooh, I love this shade. Um, Amara, which is right here. We're going to use that. If you're looking to splurge on a palette, this could be it. Yeah. I'm liking that. I am liking that. So I'm going back into that shade Raisin, and I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line as well, just to deepen it up a little bit. So I'm then going to go on with the last shade, which is, she called it Linen, but it's spelled like Linen, but whatever. Linen, lining, whatever. I'm going to take this shade. And when she swatched to this shade, I just. Now, I'm going to apply just a smidge of it. The shade seems a little chunky. To the center of the lid. Just a smidge. Because I can tend to go crazy with that. Just a smidge. Just to give the center like a little bit of a pop. And then I'm just going to apply it straight to the inner corner. I'm not going to wet it. I am feeling this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do eyeliner. I'm going to do liquid eyeliner, create a little wing. I'm going to do black eyeliner in my uh, waterline. And some lashes, work on his brows, lay down this wig, and then I'll be right back. And we're going to try out those super glows. And then I'm going to let you guys know if these products work worth your quaint. Alright guys, so I am back and I can honestly say I love this eye look. You guys know I love purple shadows. So, um, I just went ahead and set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because we're getting into the super glows now. And on Natasha Denona's Insta story, she just said that, that the highlighters work better on hydrated skin now when I think of hydrated skin it's like some of you all may be thinking as well when I have on makeup I'm thinking like okay I need to set my face to get that pow some of that powderiness away so that's what I'm doing that's what, how I've been wearing it so I'm just gonna grab them so I have a clean fan brush it's the Morphe R I mean Y13 um this is what the box look like for the looks like for the super glow the box looks like it says Natasha, Natasha Denona Super Glow Extreme Shine Crystal Highlighting Powder. Um, these supposedly having them um, finely milled crystal particles and um, to give a glass like finish, so that's why I really wanted to pick them up. Um, these do retail for $38 and they are available available on Sephora.com and Beautylish. And I'm assuming her website, I didn't see the mini palette on Blue on Beautylish, I only saw the super, the super glow. So that's the box, and then these are the actual this is the actual product. Um, it's on a nice silver plastic packaging um the packaging is actually kind of cheap to me it's really lightweight i don't know you do get a nice mirror here and this is the product so this first shade is zero two light medium 
Um, she called it a universal shade. So when I hear universal, then I can wear it too. So we're gonna go ahead first with 02 light medium. I'm gonna try it on the skin. All right, so clean brush. Gonna dip into the product. Not much came on the brush, but I have been wearing this shade and I do like it. Um, it may come, like, I feel like if you're darker than me, it'll be a little too light for you. But for me, it's okay. Like, I'm gonna show you now. It's like a really pretty peachy gold. Like, this shade is gorgeous. Now, this shade, if you do have some texture on your skin, it does, sh it, it, like, you can still see the texture. It doesn't emphasize it too much, honestly, because I have highlighters that shows every crevice on this face, but... This doesn't really do that, and honestly, I am a deeper complected woman, and this looks beautiful. So this is 02 light medium, and then really quickly, I'm going to take a clean finger, and I'm going to, look at that, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. Now, that's the swatch, and I have nothing on my hand. No moisturizer, no primer, no foundation. I have nothing. I actually just wash my hands. Like, even if, even when I'm not filming, in between doing my makeup, I just keep washing my hands. I don't know why. It's like a habit. And it's gorgeous. Because when Natasha Denona swatched these, she had a light layer of moisturizer on her hand, she said, because she said it works better with moisturized and hydrated skin. I mean, my hand ain't crusty, but, you know, at least you, like, at least you see how it looks on, like, more hydrated skin. Like I said, I just set my face with some setting spray, and this is on, like, dry skin. It still looks really, really pretty. So that's 02 Light Medium. And then I have 03 Bronze. Now, the thing with this bronze, it's bronze. It's not really a bronze to me. It's very, very yellow gold. It doesn't always translate well. And I don't always like the way it looks on me. So I'm going to go ahead and try this color on for you. Like, it's a really yellow gold. And this one, look at that. I have not worn before. Now, I like it. Not as much as I like this one, but I like it. Let me get a bigger mirror. I don't know if you guys are seeing it on camera, but it almost has like, I can see it here. I don't even know if you guys can even see it. It looks almost green, like a slight green undertone. It really reminds me of the Extreme Glow in the um, palette that I have, the Diamond Glow Blush Palette. It reminds me of that. In the pan, I don't really see that greenish undertone, but this is how it looks on me. This is 03 Bronze, and I'm going to take a clean finger and swatch it. I'm not really a fan. So, I'm going to go ahead and dust this off, apply more of this, do a quick lip, and I'm going to come back with final thoughts if I think you guys should spend your money on these products because they are expensive. All right, guys, so I am back with... Fin with <laughs> but for my final thoughts I actually went ahead and I left on bronze I this is not light medium this is the bronze one um and it's growing on me it's growing on me I'm gonna wear it today and see how I feel towards the end of the day but I'm gonna go and I applied one of my favorite new lipsticks this is Sanctuary by Kat Von D um I'm gonna go go ahead and get into final thoughts so first things first the palette 
I really like this. This is what my palette looks like after I used it. Which is not bad. The shades blended beautifully on the eyes. The two shimmers in here are stunning. The Blue Dahlia is beautiful. Linen, linen, I don't care what it's called. That is one beautiful, it's like a light champagne. It's gorgeous. I love my lower lash line. I love like... I love purple looks like this. I am in love with this palette. I think $25 is still way too much for this. Um, I really do. Like, 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 this is $20. I'd be for it. $25 is a lot for a palette this small. This is smaller than... You could spend 12 and get a color pop. You know what I mean? How, I think these are like how much are these palettes for a color pop? I think they're $12. And you get full size shadows, honey. But remember, this is Natasha Denona. You're paying for great quality products. I'm gonna breeze through this. I'm sweating again. Um, you're paying for great quality products, so I do think you guys should check this out, especially if you're new to Natasha Denona. <clears throat> I'm really happy she came out with this because for people who want to try out the brand, her smallest palettes are 50, her smallest eyeshadow palettes are $50. Like, that's a lot for a five pan eyeshadow palette. $50. For somebody who's new to the brand, definitely spend $25. You're going to get the same quality as you get as in the bigger palettes. They're both made in Italy. You are going to get less product, but you're going to get the same amount of quality. Why not use this to try out the brand? So, I think her coming out with this, especially with her price points, was an amazing idea. Um, you'll never catch me with a $239 Natasha Denona palette. I'm sorry. That is not a gold in my life, okay? That is not a gold or a need or want. That is way too much for eyeshadow palette. But... I enjoy my Lila palette, my Tropic palette. The palettes that I do have from her, I love them. So, this is a definitely, guys, go ahead. And if you are interested, definitely pick this up um, because it's, it's gorgeous. Now, for the Super Glows. I really do like these. I love the way they beam off the skin. The glow does last literally all day. I have been wearing them to work and things and just out. The glow lasts all day. This bronze one is starting to glow on me. Glow on me. <laughs> it's starting to grow on me. Um, it does have a slight, like, greenish gold undertone. But I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day. I really do like, um, the light medium one as well. Um, like I said, the packaging is a little cheap to me. But the product on the inside is actually pretty good and long-lasting. Um, so if you are a deeper skin tone, man or woman... I would say still try light medium and then um, definitely try bronze. Like bronze for me is more like a personal preference thing. I normally don't like that much of a yellow gold. I don't know. I just sometimes don't like the way it looks on me. But this actually isn't bad. Um, let me know what you guys think of the highlighters. Remember I did one on each side. Let me, let me, in a cut. Leave me a comment. And like I said, they have crushed like crystals in them and they, they're supposed to get like a glass like finish. Um, I don't know if I'm getting glassy, but I'm definitely getting like glowy. Like my skin is beaming right now and I barely used any products, so um and speaking of product, you get 10 grams in here, which is a lot for highlighter. I definitely recommend you guys check these out as well. I, I do like them. Alright guys, so that is everything I have to say on these products. I'm sorry if this video comes out a little lengthy. I wanted to give as much detail as I could. I will link everything down in the description box. I really want to know what you guys think about these products, how they look on me. I feel like I really am like glowing. Like, young yes, child. And I love the eye look. Like, I love that palette. Um, So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to do have I ever done the touch on the eyeshadow look on this channel, on my channel? I haven't. Have I? If you guys want me to do a Natasha Denona eyeshadow look, like using the Tropic palette or 
one of my five pan palettes or something just Natasha no, 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 all over the eyes go ahead and thumbs up this video I will do that video if this video gets 30 likes if I get 30 likes on this video I will do that video for you guys. Just all on the eyes, all Natasha Denona. And I will use, um, leave me a comment. So, I will put a poll right here on which Natasha Denona palette you guys want me to do, use. If this video gets 30 likes, I will do the video and I will pick from the list of whichever palette has the most votes. Um, so, like, do the poll. And I will go ahead and get that video out for you guys. I hope you guys know this video. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Um, I will leave down below how the, um, in the, in the description box, how these shadows held up, which I know they're going to hold up beautifully. It's Natasha Denona, for goodness sakes. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.